Hi guys, we're going to start out the book, of, the book of Proverbs today, the book of wisdom. Chapter 1. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel. To know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding. So, to know wisdom and instruction, and don't take it offensive when God tries to instruct you, teach you, and sometimes... He has to let you know when you're wrong and correct you. To perceive the words of understanding, but he does it because he loves us. So he corrects us like a father would a son. So when he knows we're going to get ourselves into trouble or end up hurting ourselves or getting hurt or being lonely or lost or broken, he'll try to stop you. He'll correct you and don't, you're not supposed to be offended by it. Okay. To know wisdom and instruction and to perceive the words of understanding. To know wisdom, instruction, and to perceive the words of understanding. To receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, and judgment, and e equity. To give subtility to the simple. To the young man, knowledge and discretion. A wise man will hear and will increase learning. So a wise man will hear the words that preachers and people of God preach and he can will hear the Bible and he will increase in learning because he's wise. If you're wise, you'll increase in learning. And a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. So once if a wise man hears and he increases in learning, then he will gain understanding. And then a man of understanding shall attain to unto wise counsels. Because he got wise by understanding God's word, now he wants to attain when he hears other people being wise and counseling others. To understand a proverb, and the inter to understand a proverb and the inter interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. I don't ever understand why it says dark sayings, but. I think he means the words of the wise of this world, not the kingdom, God's kingdom, and their dark sayings is why. But I don't know, maybe not. To understand a proverb and the interpretation, and then it says the words of the wise, comma, and their dark sayings. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. My God's what he think is wise and his instruction, not what we think is. My son, hear the instruction of thy father and forsake not the law of thy mother. And this is the Old Testament, guys, not the New Testament. For they shall be an ornament of grace unto my, thy head and chains about thy neck. My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. If they say, Come with us, let us lay wait for blood. Let us lurk privily for the innocent without cause, without a reason, because they enjoy hurting people. Let us swallow them up alive as the grave and whole as those that go down into the pit. We shall find all precious substance. We shall fill our houses with spoil. Cast in thy lot among us. Let us all have one purse. My son, walk not thou in the way with them. Refrain thy foot from their path. For their feet run to evil and make haste to shed blood. Surely in vain the net is spread in the sight of any bird. And they lay wait for their own blood. They lurk privily for their own lives. So are the ways of every one that is greedy of gain, which taketh away the life of the owners thereof. Wisdom crieth without. She uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief places of concourse. In the openings of the gates, in the city, she uttereth her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge, question mark. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called, and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded. But ye have set at naught all my counsel, and would none of my reproof, none of my correction. I also will laugh at your calamity when your 
something bad comes upon you. I will mock when your fear cometh, when your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, and I shall not find, and shall not find me. For they hated knowledge, and did not choose the fear of the Lord, which is the beginning of knowledge. They would none of my counsel, they despised all my reproof and corrections. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way, and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet from fear of evil. Chapter 2 My son, if thou wilt receive my words, and hide my commandments with thee, so that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom, listen to wisdom, and apply thine heart to understanding, pray for understanding, study God's word, and you will get wisdom. Yea, if thou criest after knowledge, and liftest up thy voice for understanding, if thou seekest her as silver, so seek understanding, beg for it, be addicted to it, pray for it, long for it, as you would silver, and searches for her as for hit searches for her as for hid treasures. So look for her, search, dig like you would for treasure. You'd be digging everywhere, all over the place, because it's looking for treasure. So you need to be digging into this book and praying and digging into God and praying for understanding, seekest her as like treasure, and seekest her as silver. Then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord, and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord giveth wisdom out of his mouth, cometh knowledge and understanding. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler up to them that walk uprightly. He keepeth the paths of judgment. He preserveth the ways of his saints. Then shalt thou understand righteousness, and judgment, and equity, yea, every good path. When wisdom entereth into thine heart, and knowledge is pleasant unto my soul, thy soul, discretion shall persevere. Discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee, to deliver thee from the way of the evil man, from the man that speaketh forward things. Who leave the paths of uprightness, to walk in the ways of darkness, who rejoice to do evil, and delight in the forwardness of the wicked, whose ways are crooked, and they forward in their paths, to deliver thee from the strange woman, even the stranger which flattereth with her words, which forsaketh the guide of her youth, and forgetteth the covenant of her God. For her house inclineth unto death, and her paths unto the dead, none that go on unto her return again, neither take they hold of the paths of life, that thou mayest walk in the way of good men, and keep the paths of thy righteousness. For the upright shall dwell in the land, and the perfect shall remain in it, but the wicked shall be cut off from the earth, and the transgressors shall be rooted out of it. Chapter 3 My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto your own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord, and depart from evil. It shall be health to thy navel, and marrow to thy bones. Honor the Lord with, the, with thy substance, all your being, and with the first fruits of all thine increase. So all the money you earn, give ten percent to the homeless, or the poor, or the hungry, the needy, the churches that, that's paying your tithes. Ten percent of everything. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty if you do that, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. My son, despise not the chastening, chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. So when he corrects you, he's teaching you, don't, don't be ashamed, don't be mad. 
for Orbe said, For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth, even as a father the son in whom he delighteth. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof than fine gold. She is more precious than rupees, and all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. Length of days is in her right hand, and in her left hand riches and honor, and understanding. That's what we're talking about, understanding, that's how precious it is. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to them that lay up hold upon her, and happy is every one that retaineth her. The Lord by wisdom hath founded the earth, by understanding hath he established the heavens. By his knowledge the depths are broken up, and the clouds drop down the dew. My son, let not them depart from thine eyes. Keep sound wisdom and direct discretion. So shall thy they be life unto thy soul, and grace to thy neck. Then shalt thou walk in the way safely, and they, thy foot shall not stumble. When thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. Yea, thou shalt lie down, and thy sleep shall be sweet. Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of desolation of the wicked when it come. For the Lord shall be thy confidence, and not keep thy foot from being taken. Withhold not good from them to whom it is due. When it is in thine power, your own power to of thine hand to do it when you have power to help somebody do it say not unto thy neighbor go and come again the next day and i will give when thou hast it by thee when you already have it don't tell them to go and come back another time but you're busy or don't feel like it give it to him devise not evil against your neighbor seeing that he dwells securely by thee that means Anyone, pretty much. Strive not with a man without cause, if he have done no, thee no harm. Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. For the for froward is an abomination to the Lord, but his secret is with the righteous. The curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked, but he blesseth the habitation of the just. Surely he scorneth the scorners, but he giveth grace unto the lowly in spirit and humble. The wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be the promotion of fools. Sorry, guys, I'm going to drink. I listen to a Bible online. It reads to me because I stutter real bad and when I try to read. And I, my mouth dries up. My throat hurts. Download the King James Audio Bible. It's amazing. <laughs> Start off reading the New Testament if you've never studied before. Don't start in the Old Testament. Start in the New Testament, which is made for after Jesus died and rose again and saved us from sin. That's what we're supposed to read. The Old Testament is before all that. When we were still living under the law that we no longer live under. We live under Jesus' law, which is the fulfilling of the law, the old law, and it's love God. With all your heart, mind, and strength, and soul. And love your neighbor as yourself. Okay, chapter 4. Hear ye children the instruction of a father, and attend to no understanding. For I give you good doctrine, forsake ye not my law. For I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. He taught me also, and said unto me, Let thine heart retain my words, keep my commandments, and live. Get wisdom, get understanding, get forget it not, neither decline from the words of th my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding of the wisdom. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee bring you up, make you smarter, stronger, live a healthier, longer. She shall bring thee to honor when thou doest embrace her. She shall give to thine head an ornament of grace, a crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of thy life shall be many. I have taught thee in the way of the wisdom. 
I have led thee in the right paths. When thou goest, thy steps shall not be sh straightened. And when thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. Take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go, keep her, for she is thy life. Enter not into the path of the wicked, and go not into the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it, and pass away. For they sleep not, except they have done mischief. And their sleep is taken away, unless they cause some to fall. For they eat uh, the bread of the wickedness, and drink the wine of violence. But the path of the just is as sh shining light, that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. The way of the wicked is darkness. They know not at what they stumble. My son, attend to thy words. Incline thine ear unto the sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. For they are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. Keep thy heart with all diligence. For out of it are the issues of life. Put away from thee a forward mouth. Forward mouth. And perverse lips put far from thee. Let thine eyes look right on, and let thine eyelids look straight before thee. Ponder the path of thy feet, and let all the ways be established. Turn not to the right hand, nor to the left. Remove thy foot from evil. Sorry, guys. I know I'm not really studying too right now. I'm just reading. That's because the book of, this is the book of wisdom, and it's pretty much teaching you how to be a wise person. So if you just listen to it, it's teaching you, as I would be teaching you. So pray for understanding, and I'll try to explain it better another day. But it's like 2 in the morning right now, and I just had to get this done because I didn't do it earlier, and I should have. There ain't no excuse, God comes first. But I had to go to the park with my sister because she's gay, and I felt like God put a calling <clears throat> on me to do it. Because I always try to preach to her, send her stuff on Facebook, and she gets mad and told me to quit doing it because she's gay and uh, it convicts her and I'm not convicting her. I'm telling her to come as she, to Jesus as she is because he loves her as she is and he can help change her. He knows we're not strong enough to do it on our own. We need to uh, understand that, come to a conclusion with it, and not be afraid to admit we need to be saved from ourselves because we're weak in this fleshly body. But when Christ enters in, he cleans all that out and makes you strong in this. And he gives you the power to overcome when the Holy Spirit enters. And you receive strength and power over the enemy. So uh, I guess that we got the chapter 5. I'll stop right there and leave it at that. Because it's not good to whole, read a whole bunch of Proverbs at one time without stopping and thinking about little bits at a time. So you can actually... Get the understanding. Pray for the understanding. Read just little bits at a time. And try to understand those before you move on. Because it's very important. And uh, even if you don't like somebody. You're thinking oh I could have just read it myself. But that's what studying is all about. But it's not just reading a book. You have to pray. Think about it. Beg, pray to God. That, tell him that I want to seek you God. I want to seek your kingdom above all things. I want to learn what you want me to learn. I want you to. Find the straight and narrow path. I want you to guide my life, Lord. I want you to take over my life. Teach me. Give me your understanding. Not my own, Lord. And when you seek it like that with the whole heart. And you're pretty much begging. And you just humble yourself. Don't think you're better than nobody. Love your every. Just try to love everyone. Help everyone when you can. And God will replenish you for it with plenty don't look at it like you're doing it because you're going to receive something. But he will. He'll take care of you. He'll make sure you got what you need, not what you want. There's a difference. He'll make sure you never go hungry. Rather, it's just one meal a day. And it comes only on that day and it don't come before. He'll feed you one day at a time if it comes down to that. Whether you think he will or not. He'll bring you to people to witness to he'll bring them to you by chance and you don't think it's by chance but it's all a big picture it was already written 
You were predestined to be here before you were even in your mother's womb. God said every hair on your head is numbered, literally. He knows every single one hair at a time that's on your head, but to the T, to ever, ever, it's crazy. It's, uh, God is never going to fail you, he'll never leave you, he'll never disappoint you. You guys need to just give your father Abba Father. You'll cry Abba Father. He's so good. Just give him a chance. Let him love you. You don't need to love. You can't love God unless he loved us first. It's impossible. So God loves you more than you ever could love him. You don't even can't perceive it. The Bible says that God's understanding is as high as the heavens are above the earth. His understanding is that much high, that high above ours. He's spirit, we're carnal. I love you guys. God bless you.